right, so we got our model loaded up here. I want to go over the work coordinate system in Fusion. So if you right click and hit edit, everyone's used to this screen because this is where you set your origin and so, you know, wherever you want this to be. But over here, most people don't mess with this because they might not understand what it means. So just a little quick lesson here. So this is your offset. So typically it's set at zero. And sometimes when you post, you'll get an error that says work coordinate system is set to zero, assuming G54. Well, you can set this to one and it'll take that warning out. But before we do that, let's just leave it at zero. Hit OK. And let's post this. And we're going to say coaster one. So we've already done it. We'll just hit OK. All right. So from there, uh, work offset has not been specified using G54. We expected that. So let's load the G code. So there's G54. Okay. So let's close it. Let's go back up here. Let's edit. Let's go back and change this to a 1. So do you think it's going to go to G55? Let's see. We're going to post this. Coaster 1. We will hit yes. And you see we didn't get the warning. Okay. So when I load this, there's G54. So by default, they set this to zero. But one actually starts your G54. So let's say you have a machine that has, let's say, five vices on it. And you want to access the third vice. Let's just say the first and second, something happened to them. Uh, let's go to the third vice. So the first vice is work coordinates one, G54. The second vice is G55. The third vice is G56. So if I hit OK and we post this, our code should say G56. Okay, we'll overwrite that. Now when I load the G code, there's our G56 right there. So with this area right here, this will allow us to actually put this anywhere we want on the table. So let's say you've got a job already on the table in your G54 vice, but it's not completely done yet. And you get a hot job that comes in and you just need to cut something real quick. You can put this at a different place on the table. And yet you'll have to actually take your software. You'll have to jog over to wherever you want to do the part and manually set the offset. So we get a G56. So now we're on G56. This part was saved at G56. It will actually go to the third vice and cut that one part. Pretty powerful little feature if you know how to use it. So anyway, I want to do a quick load of video on that and how powerful that can be with being able to do multiple jobs on a machine at one time without having to break a fixture down. Anyway, Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.